What's up everybody, Bubba D's here and I am so excited to be back, been fully refreshed, energized and ready to go. Today we're doing something really simple, really easy, we're making a beef stew in the Instapot. You know the slogan, once I show you how to do it, you'll know how to do it, so let's get started. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow me on all social medias. So let's open up the fridge. You're gonna see that I prepped everything using these great containers by Zip Top. They are reusable, environmentally friendly, and microwave safe. I'll link the information below so you guys can check them out. What you're gonna need is a beef stew, about one pound. We're gonna use oyster sauce, about two tablespoons, some vegetable oil or olive oil, some parsley, some salt, some garlic, some cornstarch, some black pepper, and some oregano. For your solid ingredients, you're gonna be using some potatoes, about one pound, a one onion chopped, some tomato paste, some carrots chopped, and some chicken broth. I know, it's beef, but we're using chicken broth. It all comes together and it will be super flavorful. So what you wanna do is hit saute on your Instapot you want to go ahead and put in your vegetable oil or olive oil, whatever you got. And wait till it gets nice and hot. And you're going to go ahead and put in your one pound of beef stew pieces chopped. I got them already chopped from the butcher, but you can chop them if you have a larger piece of uh, beef cut as well. You want to go ahead and put in your black pepper. Your oregano. and your salt. Your parsley. I'm using dry, but you can use fresh. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a mix. You wanna coat everything, make sure that your meat is completely brown. And then you wanna go ahead and put in your garlic. I like to be generous on my garlic. I'm going with two tablespoons. Your oyster sauce. I know, if you don't like oysters, it's okay, you can substitute it for something else, but it's gonna bring a lot of flavor. Your one onion chopped. Once again, we're using those amazing zip top containers. Super easy. And the best part about cooking is when it's all clean and simple and neat. So let's get started with that. We're gonna go ahead and put in our carrots and our potatoes that have already been chopped. We're gonna go ahead and put in some of our tomato paste. and then our chicken broth. This is a low sodium version. I'd recommend you doing the same thing just to control the salt. Give it a nice little mix. That's what it looks like. We're gonna go ahead and put the lid right on. We're gonna set it on manual, high pressure for 35 minutes. We're gonna do a natural release and we're gonna make sure that we seal our vent and there you have it it's already hit its mark 30 minutes have gone by but before we open it up we want to do a natural release for at least 10 minutes we're gonna go ahead and mix our cornstarch right in one of our zip top containers give it a little mix and we're gonna pour it in now just to thicken up the sauce and give it that richness that we need for our stew I'm telling you, this is full of flavor. My kids loved it. They are one of the most pickiest eaters. They enjoyed every single bit of it. And the most important cool thing about it is that it's simple, easy, and fun. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow along for more, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, be safe, and bye for now.